Welcome back to the Lights Out Podcast, bedtime stories for boys and girls around the world. Good evening, boys and girls. Are you ready for bed? Are you all snuggled up and ready for another Lights Out bedtime story? Good, because you're in for a treat tonight. That's right, we have Chapter 5 of Fantastic Mr. Fox by Roald Dahl, and tonight's chapter is called The Terrible Tractors. As the sun rose the next morning, Boggis and Bunts and Bean were still digging. They had dug a hole so deep you could have put a house into it. But they had not yet come to the end of the fox's tunnel. They were all very tired and cross. Dung and blust, said Boggis. Whose rotten idea was this? Bean's idea, said Bunts. Boggis and Bunts both stared at Bean. Bean took another swig of cider, then put the flask back into his pocket without offering it to the others. Listen, he said angrily, I want that fox and I'm going to get that fox. I'm not giving in till I've strung him up over my front porch, dead as a dumpling. We can't get him by digging, that's for sure, said Fat Boggis. I've had enough of digging. Bunce, the little pot-bellied dwarf, looked at Bean and said, Have you got any more stupid ideas, then? What? said Bean. I can't hear you. Bean never took a bath. He never even washed. As a result, his ear holes were clogged with all kinds of muck and wax and bits of chewing gum and dead flies and stuff like that. This made him deaf. Speak louder, he said to Bunce. And Bunce shouted back, You got any more stupid ideas? Bean rubbed the back of his neck with his dirty finger. He had a boil coming <laughs> coming there and it itched. What we need on this job, he said, is machines. Mechanical shovels. We'll have him out in five minutes with mechanical shovels. That was a pretty good idea and the other two had to admit it. All right then, Bean said, taking charge. Boggis. You stay here and see the fox doesn't escape. Bunce and I will go back to fetch our machinery. If he tries to get out, shoot him quick. The long, thin bean walked away. The tiny Bunce trotted after him. The fat boggis stayed where he was with his gun pointing at the foxhole. Soon, the two enormous caterpillar tractors with mechanical shovels on their front ends came clanking into the wood. Bean was driving one, Bunce the other. The machines were both black. They were murderous, brutal-looking monsters. Here we go, then, shouted Bean. Death to the fox, shouted Bunce. The machines went to work, biting huge mouthfuls of soil out of the hill. The big tree under which Mr. Fox had dug his hole in the first place was toppled like a matchstick. On all sides... Rocks were sent flying and trees were falling and the noise was deafening. Down in the tunnel, the foxes crouched, listened to the terrible clanking and banging overhead. What's happening, Dad? cried the small foxes. What are they doing? Mr. Fox didn't know what was happening or what they were doing. It's an earthquake, cried Mrs. Fox. Look! said one of the small foxes. Our tunnels got shorter. I can see the daylight. They all looked around, and yes, the mouth of the tunnel was only a few feet away from them now, and in the circle of daylight beyond, they could see two huge black tractors almost on top of them. Tractors! shouted Mr. Fox. And mechanical shovels! Dig for your lives! Dig! 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 The end of Chapter 5 of Fantastic Mr. Fox, The Terrible Tractors. Here on the Lights Out Podcast, bedtime stories for boys and girls and foxes digging holes around the world. Good night. I can't wait until next time. What's going to happen to those foxes? <laughs>